Who started or am I? Hmm? You started or am I? You. Your video. Don't do me. Come on, you start it. Hi again, folks. Welcome to another instalment. In our motorhome. <laughs> Even though it's parked on the drive. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, really, isn't it? That we're not away. We you better tell them why we're not away. Well, you're still shielding. Yeah, I'm still shielding, and we could have gone out for the day, but his lordship here is a bit busy. What are you doing? All the jobs you've given me. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not the jobs I've given him. Go yes, on. they are. Tell them what you're up to. What projects you've got on the go? I've got any projects ten, on the go. <laughs> ten projects on the go. Well, you told me I got till the first of September to complete them all. Can't see that, haven't you? <laughs> no, neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, though. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, I suppose the main one is uh, trying to get the kitchen sorted, isn't it? Yeah, that's just seems we like stripped all the kitchen out because the new kitchen was supposed to be coming, and we still haven't got all of the new kitchen. <laughs> and then when we did get everything stripped out, we couldn't do anything because we couldn't get hold of any plaster. So uh, that's that's held the job up as well. Yeah, now we're having trouble getting hold of the plaster, even though he's our son. <laughs> well, he's a bit busy. <laughs> We've got to pin him down to get it done now. So once once that's done, once the floor's done, we can start building the furniture. So uh, yeah, seems just seems a long job, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. But we 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 have booked to go away in September, so um, that's not too far away. But I really would like to go out for the day because we we need to try it out before we go away. You mean try before you buy? Yeah. <laughs> Too late. You've already got, bought it. <laughs> we've got. A, I've got. Well, I've got to deal with this uh, going out into the scary world. Um, I did. Um, when you've I got, got to deal with learning how to drive it. Yeah, there is that as well. <laughs> got to learn to drive the car first. <laughs> got a new car as well, so got to learn to drive that one. Um, I just wanted to say to anybody else that's shielding. Um, it's probably going to be really really scary um, not for you people that have already gone out but when we have when when, uh, when we've been indoors since February it's a very changed world out there um, and when I got my letter from the government to say that it would be okay to stop shielding from the 1st of August I put out on a forum um, well, if, if I read it to you, it'd probably be better because my memory's not, not good. So I'll read to you what I wrote on the forum and it got a, a really good response um, to help people. So I hope it's going to help you too. Um, Hi everyone, I've been shielding since February and I've just had my letter to say I can now start venturing out. The letter says there is a 1 in 1700 chance of getting the virus now. I believe that's one in 2000, I think. Oh, don't ask me. I've weighed up the risks and have decided that being locked up at home is no life. So I'm ready to take that risk at the end of July, which is just coming up. Life is short anyway, and being a stroke survivor has taught me that you have to make the most of what time you have left. You know, in life, sorry, I keep this my thumb. <laughs> um, uh, you know, in life, you you have to take a lot of risks, such as weighing up whether to have an operation or even simply crossing the road. Yes, the virus is still out there, but you can take precautions and you don't have to go to club crowded places. If we wait for a vaccine, our lives could have deteriorated so much by then that we won't be any fit in any fit state 
to go and enjoy ourselves and make those wonderful memories that motorhoming and caravanning can bring. I say, weigh up the benefits, not so much the risks. And yes, it will be scary, but the fear is always worse than actually doing it. And to put my money where my mouth is, I have actually been out, or we have actually been out, haven't we? Mm. We went to the we went to the shops last week just before they announced that uh, masks had to be mandatory. Um, but even so, we still wore masks. Yeah, we wore masks, didn't we? But I, I think oh. I'll feel a lot a lot better when when I go out and know that everybody else is wearing masks um, because, you know, it's, it's a thing of security really, isn't it? Um, but it's not it's not as bad out there as I was expecting. The fear is always worse. And, um, you know, they've, they've, they've got it really set out well, haven't they, in the shops. Everything does seem very mm. safe. So I'm saying take that leap of faith and get yourself out there and try not to worry too much about it just just enjoy yourselves because you know it may be that in the winter we have to come back in so you've got to make the most of the next couple of months ahead do all that you can yeah do you agree yeah trouble at the moment is though all the campsites are booked up because it's summer holidays for the kids yeah well we've got a september yeah book, well yeah. a couple of days booked um mm -hmm. we'll probably wait now until the kids do go back to school because even even in the best of times we've we've tried to avoid school holidays haven't we yeah so uh yeah that's probably what we do we'll wait yeah. till september and go out there and make the most of it while we can yeah yeah I mean the, the main plan was to sort of spend a couple of months out in Spain during the winter time you know sort of January February but it doesn't look like that's on the cards for next year at the moment um, at the moment anybody coming back from Spain's got to isolate for two weeks and we don't know how long that's going to be going on mm -hmm. and we don't know how bad it's going to get over winter because they reckon that uh, Covid's going to rear its ugly head again over winter and uh, <clears throat> So it's just a case of waiting and seeing, I suppose. And trying to be very optimistic that we've got a vaccine, so. Mm. But then I suppose if we don't get abroad, there's still plenty of places oh, in this yeah. country to go and see. Yes. Yeah, it's it's just it would be nice to have the weather because we both sort of suffer when it's uh, dull and grey, as it tends to be in January and February. Yeah, but we still get out there. If, mm. we, if we can, we'll get out there for as long as we can until we can't. <laughs> Mm. we've waited long enough now well I've waited long yeah, enough yeah but I mean once we've got the rest of the bits and pieces on the house done then there's nothing really stopping us then is there it's yeah. just trying to get everything that we're trying to get done done the trouble is he's also taken down a shed well it was rotten yeah I know that <laughs> but it means you've got to build it before it, the weather gets bad again so mm. that's going to put pay to us getting out quite a bit isn't it so oh, not really I mean, the, the biggest problem is going to be finishing the base off because uh, I need to get some uh, Type 1 to go in the base. And I can't get that until we got rid of the skip because there's nowhere to put it. Yeah, there's another reason we haven't actually been out for the day in the motorhome is because the skip's sitting on the drive and we can't... Well, we could get off, but it would be a bit difficult, so I'd rather him wait. As it hasn't really all he's done is drive it onto the drive when it was <laughs> delivered. So <laughs> yeah, when 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 the guy from Marquis delivered it, he parked it outside on the road and said, "I didn't like the look of your low brick wall. I thought I'd leave you to put it on the drive." <laughs> <laughs> you did quite a good job. You went in straight away, didn't you? Yeah, yeah that was good. Mm. So that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I mean it's not a difficult mode we're, to we're drive. S we're so pleased with it though, it's absolutely fantastic isn't it? We can't find mm. anything wrong with it at the moment, you know, although it's apart only from, stuck on the drive. Apart from the list of snags that are going, well, <laughs> it's got yeah, to go back to Mark we saw. Yeah, <laughs> but you expect that don't you when you buy something new anyway, but... Well, some things, some things you don't, you know, yeah. like the control panel hanging out. And 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it probably wasn't hanging out when they left. It probably just hung out when they got here <laughs> <laughs> on travelling. So they might not even notice it themselves. Mm. But, um, yeah, er everything seems to have a place. And we've, well, we've, so we've far, cooked out it? here because of not having the kitchen a couple of times. And, yeah, it's... Well, it's, it's not so much using the hobs, is it? It's using the oven when we've needed an oven as such although we have got a microwave that's got an oven in it yeah which we've used as well and we've got a couple of uh, different way. like uh small electric hobs which we've been using and uh a teppanyaki grill so we've managed yeah it's a good job we've got like we've got like a, a carport outside the back door and uh so it does protect from the weather if it's raining. So it's not been too bad at all. Mm. We just can't leave anything out because the foxes pinch it. Yeah. yeah, like they did when it, I left the eggs out. Yeah, you left the eggs out and they had nine eggs. <laughs> 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 it was everywhere. Mm. <laughs> can't believe what the sort of a mess it was, honestly. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So, oh, I think that's about it. For yeah, now, that's our news for now. We're still stuck here. <laughs> I come out here every day and just sit in it and dream and you know think that I'm sitting on a a site <laughs> <laughs> while he works away. <laughs> yeah. You put up with the mess. <laughs> you clear up after him and it as fast as you clear up after him is making more, so well, it's yeah. pointless clearing up until it's finished, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've been filming everything he's done, so, you know, I don't know if anybody would be interested in seeing what he's been doing and our progress so far. <laughs> but, you know, we seem to be, what is it, four steps forward, three steps back at the moment. But, mm. uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the re rest of the uh, the bits for the kitchen are supposed to be coming tomorrow and Thursday, aren't they? most of the white goods are coming tomorrow and uh, what isn't coming tomorrow is coming Thursday so that means we'll have everything so we've uh, just got to get our number two son round and uh, get him to plaster it because we've had all the ceiling down and done all it's all been rewired so he's got to plaster the ceiling I mean between me and him we've put the the plaster boards back on the ceiling and uh, I've cut all the holes for the the down lighters that we put up. So yeah, but between all that, you know, he had a nice day, so he decided that he'd put up a I don't know what do you call them? What? That light thing. Oh, what the roof light? Yeah, the, decided, the light tunnel. He decided to decide to put a, a light tunnel up in the utility, you know, as if he hadn't got enough to do. And then he'll, he'll say, "Oh, well, you know, that wouldn't it look be look nice if you had some tray trailers going up that wall and so then he'll make some what they called planters planters and trellis and paint them <laughs> and oh dear it goes from one thing to another yeah, well i haven't been able to finish the kitchen have i no no <laughs> i know i mean i'm so grateful he's so good i mean i'm so so lucky to to have him yeah. i really am but um and then i'm running oh, around making you cups of tea he does make a mess yeah. And cooking for you. Oh. While you sit and watch the telly. Oh. <laughs> oh. I use my string bow, but my hand's playing up. Because <laughs> I did some comments yesterday, so I can't use my hand today. So I'm really sorry about the comments. I, I do try to do them, but my hand's been really bad lately. So uh, I am plowing on through them and don't stop them coming because I love them and you will get a, um, a, reply, a reply eventually, eventually. <laughs> oh dear right well yes we're waffling on enough on. now so I've got a roof to fiberglass yeah he was moaning about coming out here to make the video so <laughs> he's here under duress <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so your turn to say it this week. Oh, so if you like, <laughs> <laughs> go 
I'll still not remember it. You know what my memory is like. You will, you will one not. day. Oh, dear. So if you like the video, don't forget, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever. Um, leave us a comment. As Lynn said, she loves answering them. But most don't love answering them. I <laughs> just like it. <getting> <laughs> <laughs> but I do answer them eventually. Yeah, but most important of all, keep smiling. <laughs> yeah, definitely keep smiling. Okay and then. Good luck, you shielders out there. Yeah, bye for now. Enjoy. Bye.